guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Skies. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am actually having a pretty great day. It has been uh, about a week since I've recorded anything. My backlog is gone, um, and I'm still sick, but I'm not nearly as sick as I was when I recorded uh, the last episode. So yeah, it's been it's been a week since I've recorded anything. It's been a week since I've played any Minecraft, and we're back in Hermit Skies, and I'm excited to be here, and we're gonna have a good time. Uh, also, it appears that some of my roof has, uh, burned? It uh, looks like fire damage to me. Let's just fix that real quick before I forget about it. I'm not entirely sure. Probably a torch, uh, because when torches fall in this pack, they can, uh, stare, stare. There we go. We'll just go, uh, Boop. Boop. Lovely. Okay. So, with me having been gone for so long, we have 26,000 nether stars. We have, um, 153,000 emerald blocks. I want to check that here, because basically I've got this set up. One of these has a void. Oh, you know what? I stopped mining. I, I stopped quarrying the, uh, the emerald dimension. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll, that's, that's a lot of EMC though. That's like as much EMC as we could possibly get. And then there is this reactor that we started last, well, this reactor room that we started last episode. Uh, is, how's this thing doing on power? Should be good, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We're totally good here. Uh, but we started this reactor room last episode and we were gonna use some factory blocks and then we kind of came across the fact that there's a bug in the pack currently. Apparently, it's a bug directly with the chisel mod uh, that makes it so you can't actually craft factory blocks. So uh, we need to have the pack um, updated, uh, basically. We, we need to update the either update the chisel mod itself, roll it back to a previous version. Although I think I, I remember hearing that it's actually fixed, it, fixed now in the latest version of chisel. I don't know. Either way, I also want to check and see, since I've been gone for a week, how's Wellsmart doing? 512 coins in Wellsmart. So people have been buying stuff there. Let's just uh, head on over. I think this should take me to Wellsmart. Yep. Everything seems to be good. Everything is still in stock. Yeah, that's all good. Okay, excellent. And then let's uh, maybe head to our main hallway here as well. I seem to remember hearing that somebody went around and gave Christmas presents to everybody, but maybe they didn't give me one. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe maybe I have a Christmas present hiding somewhere, but I seem to remember that, I, I, that someone went around and gave uh, everybody basically like gifts to, or, uh, oh, wait. What happened here? I didn't do that, that's for sure. Maybe that burned two or something? I, I don't know, whatever. We'll just fix it and move on. Um, someone went around and gave everyone uh, more coins for Wells Mart than that was, a Christmas, that was the Christmas present. And, you know, giving me coins for Wells Mart would be kind of hilarious considering it's my shop. But, you know, it's all good. Um, yeah, so I think today what I want to do is I want to work a little bit more on the big reactor room over here uh, that we started last episode. Um, I, I think I want to get this room all sorted out and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, we've got this Tyrion here, um, and I, I was considering using this for a floor since we don't have the factory blocks. I really don't like it. I, I, I'm not a fan. I, I don't think it looks very good. Um, so we're just going to vein mine all of this stuff and take that back. Um, I don't think it's a bad looking block, but I just don't think it's a very good block for this particular circumstance. And uh, what we'll do instead, um, you know what, I did a mock-up of this. I, I, I did some like planning in a creative world before I got sick, like a week ago, and I don't really remember what materials we were using. Give me one second, I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back and I've got it figured out. I had to I had to go and consult my previous stuff. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this dark stone right here from Quantum Flux. Super easy to make stone, cobblestone, ink sack, piece of cake. We'll just make a few stacks of this 
And then let's just go here. And this is going to be what we use for our floor. I think this is a very good kind of industrial floor material. We may need more of this, but we'll we'll make more if we need it. Uh, and then let's grab this guy. And we'll just kind of bring it over around. Do, 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 do. Like... So, how we doing? Oh, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to need more. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. Let's just make several more stacks. That should be plenty. And then we just kind of bring it around this way. And this will be the floor in our industrial reactor room thing. I think this is a, a really good kind of, like, factory-esque floor, uh given that we don't have the actual factory blocks, because there's some very cool floor-type blocks in the in the chisel mod, but uh, at the moment, they're not really working. Uh, and so we're going with this instead. Um, yeah, I think this looks good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get rid of all these torches. We'll just tear these all out. And some of these, uh, some of these dark stones, we'll replace these with... Uh, painted glowstone instead that looks like the dark stone that way we'll have lighting in here um i think that's kind of the my my preferred method of lighting stuff up in this particular pack but let's just do that there we go and then i'm thinking for the walls we're gonna go brown i think it's called brownstone yeah brownstone right here and this is sandstone and clay um I don't think I have much sandstone. Yeah, I don't. But that is easily remedied, right? Because brownstone, it was sandstone, right? Not sand. Brown stone. Yeah, definitely sandstone. So what we'll do for that is I'll just make some uh, using this guy. He's cake. We'll say, uh, make me some sandstone, please. Thank you. That will do the trick nicely, and that will put tons of sandstone into our system. So, let's... Uh, it's getting late. Let's take a nap real quick. Do, 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 do. Also, I really should make, like, better ways around this base. Maybe we'll use, like, the... Um, uh, the travel anchors, I think they are, from Ender.io, so we can kind of, like, teleport around and go where we need to. That might actually be a good idea. Uh, just to just to get make getting around the base a little bit easier. I do see that this is not within range of any torches or anything like that. So uh, very lucky that we only had one Enderman spawn here, but that's fine. Uh, okay, how much clay do we have? We have a fair amount. So let's go ahead and make some of this brownstone. And this stuff is pretty cool. It looks, uh, I think it's a really good kind of concrete type block. Uh, and then let's grab a chisel, like so, and we'll chisel, uh, for now I'm gonna chisel all of it to this just because I'm lazy. Oh, that's the tile though. I want this one, the not tiled. There we go. And we're gonna put that along here. So this will give us kind of a little bit of like a darkened bottom which I think will be really good. This is also going to allow us to see just how much <laughs> of this stuff we're going to need per layer. So we'll kind of bring that around like so. Looks like we're probably going to end up using about two stacks, two and a half stacks per layer. That's not too bad. I mean, it is a fairly large room. Yeah, but it's just barely over two stacks per room. Uh, or per layer, I should say. So this will be fine. We'll do that. And then we're going to chisel all this back into regular brownstone. And then we get to bring it along here. Will this by chance? Yeah, I didn't think so. I, I thought as much. I was like, could we just builder's wand it now? But the answer is no, we cannot. And that's fine. So this will be our walls, and I think it'll look really good once it's all done. Uh, so we'll have like this this kind of darker, the, the dark stone floors, 
We'll go with this kind of brownstone wall as kind of a. I, I think when you're when you're doing walls here, you want to have a very kind of neutral block. Um, otherwise, you risk it getting a little bit crazy. But we'll do that, and then we should just be able to go boop, 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 boop. How high does this seem to go? Probably a couple more, maybe even like one more above that. That should be, what is that, like nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten high right now. I, I do want to be able to stand on top of the reactor. Let's maybe go like two more. Yeah, that should be good. And that actually used almost all of our brownstone. And then, finally, for the last ceiling in here, we're gonna grab a bunch of iron and we're gonna go with the shipping crates like this. Uh, and I think this is gonna create a pretty cool sort of uh, effect once it's all said and done. It'll look kind of like the whole ceiling is like a giant grate. Um, which I think is gonna look pretty cool. We are gonna have to light everything up, of course, but we'll get to that. Let's just go... One, two, three. There we go. And stuff is spawning like crazy now. Which is, you know, not unexpected. Um, but we'll put... Well, first of all, let's chisel this all back into regular iron blocks. Throw that all away. Do I happen to have a mega torch? Or can I make one? I can make an interdiction torch. Make a mega torch. Toss the mega torch right here for the moment. Hopefully that will prevent more mobs from spawning in. At least temporarily until we can get this thing properly like situated. Apparently the mega torch uh, blocks stuff within a 32 block radius. I thought it was 64, but. Some of you have told me that it's 32. Uh, okay, so that seems good. And then I think what we'll do, let's actually go back to the brownstone. And let's just go right here and go brownstone like that. So this will be our entrance and this is the room. And it, I know it doesn't look like much now, but give it a minute, give it some time. It's all good. Uh, so we want to go glowstone want to grab a painting machine right here I, I can just put that right here so it'll have power we'll throw the glowstone in like so and then we want to go dark stone right yeah because i want the floors we need to light up the floors in here oh that's really cool it's a christmas easter egg in ender io I think it probably said uh, maybe all these different languages mean Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays or something like that. I'm not really sure. Interesting, though. Uh, there's a lot of little in interesting Easter eggs like that in Ender.io. It's kind of cool. Um, but what we'll do, let's turn mob overlays on with F7. And we want to get rid of all the red because we don't want stuff spawning in here. Obviously, that would be... Quite unfortunate. We'll just kind of sneak the glowstone in, maybe put one here, right there. And that will protect this whole area for us from being a mob farm, because that's basically what it would become. If stuff can spawn in here, yeah, it would be bad. Oh, come back, you. There there and there lovely and we got rid of all the lighting glitches i think it appears so yeah so this looks like a very kind of like industrial dingy factory type thing now it's giant it's basically a giant box right now which you know is not exactly ideal for making things look good but we can change that that's fine uh, and ultimately, this is going to split off into other rooms. So we'll find the center here. And this will probably be a door that goes elsewhere. Find the center again, right 
here? Here. Knockout room for a door there. And then one more time, one more door right there. And we'll basically end up doing this door, except over on these sides, which I think will look really good. Um, and we can close that for now. There we go. So something along those lines. I do want to go up here and uh, put down a bunch of torches to spawn proof all of this. Uh, but, you know, it's getting there. It's uh, we're, we're making progress. We're, we're moving along and, and things are happening, which is good. So let me get some work done in this room, guys. I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back and I've uh, mostly finished the room. I think it's look. Uh, I think it looks good. I, I went ahead and I rounded the corners. The walls are very barren and bland right now, but we'll change that as time goes on. Um, I, I need to figure out what I want to do here to kind of decorate the, the walls and uh, kind of fill some of this space and make it look a lot more interesting. But the, the base idea of the room is, is finished. I went ahead and used some rusted uh, Tyrion. It's a chisel texture up here for like these kind of cross beams. And I think that looks really good. I like it. And then I've got the four doors that kind of come out uh, every which way. So yeah, it works. It gets the job done. Um, now... I think the next thing I want to do, and this is something that you guys have been telling me, like, forever, but I just haven't yet, because I haven't? I, I don't know. I, you know, it was really interesting while I was sick, because all those, uh, like, the last seven episodes or so of Hermit Skies have all been pre-recorded. It was funny uh, how many people were leaving comments telling me to do things that I actually did in a later episode. I, I found it amusing. Uh, but anyway... So, a lot of you have been saying, hey, you need way more of these neutron collectors if you ever want to get infinity ingots. Keep in mind, or uh, neutronium ingots. Keep in mind, I haven't played Hermit Skies in like a week. So, this is like a week's worth of these eight neutronium uh, neutron collectors working. 109, we have 200 ingots <laughs> over the span of a week. That is very, 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 very slow. Um, so, we are going to change that a little bit. It's time to upgrade this. What we can do, these actually have an EMC value. Uh, it's a lot, 3 million EMC, but we can make a whole mess of these and get these things going uh, and, and greatly increase our production. So if I toss this guy in here, that's gonna give us, that gave us 24. And then we're spitting more, uh, uh, emerald into here. Let's grab uh, an acceleration card. And let's just do something like that. We'll start messing, putting more of these in. 64. Yeah, so now it's sticking in a whole stack at once. And it's going to speed up a little bit. And then that will give us lots and lots and lots of neutron collectors. I want to have a ton of these things. Just massive quantities. Like... Um, I mean, there, there are nine, it would be great if we were making like an ingot every, however, like every cycle, if we were making an ingot, so that we would need 81 per ingot. So if, or actually it'd be great if we were making like a block per ingot. We're going to go through a, a ton of EMC here, a ton of our emeralds, but that's okay. It's not like we can't afford it. Let's just get a bunch of these. Um, let's see. So like 720, I believe, would be a block every cycle. There we go. So let's just stop this right now. How many emeralds do we have left? We went through about 20,000 emerald blocks to make all of those neutron collectors. That's glorious. Uh, so, now, we'll grab all of these guys. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, so we'll grab all of these, and we need to make a room for these. And I think what we want is nine rows of nine because let's see there are let, let, let's think about this nine of them will make a nugget right uh every cycle nine rows of nine would make an ingot every cycle 
So I would need nine rows of nine rows to make a block every cycle. That's going to be a lot, but that's okay. Uh, let me get kind of a room put together. I think we probably want this to be part of like the industrial section. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, we probably want this to be part of the industrial section, I think. So let me kind of start laying some stuff out and getting some blocks down. I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, I am back. We have nine, uh, nine by nine, uh, cells, groups of these neutron collectors. So this will make a block every cycle. Um, now, what I need to do is I need to do item conduits for all of these. And you know what takes forever is going in and hitting extract always, extract always, extract always, extract always, forever and ever, it'll take you hours. So what you can do is you can make one of these conduit probes, and if you hold shift and scroll wheel, you can see it changes color. The blue one is like analyze, right? So it'll tell you the things about the conduits. The yellow one is copy paste. And if you go to the one of the, uh, the, the conduits that's properly connected and you shift right click on it, you can then right click all of these and you can see it's set to extract always active. Whereas this one that we haven't clicked at is never active. So it's basically a way to like copy paste the settings for these conduits and it will significantly speed up the process of getting this all done. So I'm gonna get back to it, I'll be back. All right guys, I am back. I've got the room all done. We went with that same kind of industrial style. Uh, which I quite like. I think I might actually want to do something like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Let's, uh, let's quickly make that little change here. Just the, we'll do these, uh, this brownstone as some cross beams kind of up there. Just to kind of break up the room a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks nice. Breaks up the ceiling. Anyway, so this is all done and looking good. Now, what we need to do is we need to actually get this all, you know, outputting to something. Re remember that these have been going for uh, this entire time, so I'll, pretty much all of these have some neutrons in them right now. Uh, but we want to do what we want to do is automatically export all of these conduits, and they're all connected up, and they're all configured properly. Um, we want to export all of those into uh, our ME system. And I've made a, a drawer in our room for the, the neutronium blocks or whatever it is. Uh, so, we're gonna put a compacting drawer right here, and I'm gonna say insert, and suddenly we have 58 neutronium ingots in here, and we're getting more all the time, alright? So now, I wanna grab one ingot, and what I'm gonna do is put another item conduit right here, we'll change this to extract, but I'm gonna put a filter in and say only this, and always, okay? So it's gonna pull the ingots out of here and put them into an ender chest right here, which is connected to another ender chest over there that uh, will automatically import into my system. So we can change this to insert. You can see they're gonna end up over here and that stuff is getting pulled out uh, and going into my ME system where it belongs. So we have now automated significantly the production of these neutronium ingots. And if we look in our system, we have six blocks. We've got 102 ingots. Uh, I haven't grabbed the, uh, the ones from over here yet. Um, and in fact, I think I'm just going to tear this whole thing down. We'll just kind of do 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 and break that one and there we go so now we have a whole bunch more we'll toss all that into our system as well so now we should basically be set on neutronium will we have uh lots and lots of production of it uh which is great um i am actually gonna take no nuggets will still properly go into the system won't they uh, because the, that compacting drawer will have it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So actually, these little dust piles right here 
I need to take that and put that into here, and then we'll never see Neutronium Dust ever again. Because I don't think it's used for anything other than just making nuggets, right? I'm back. I broke it. I somehow click. I, I think I may have accidentally hit alt tab. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the piles of neutrons are not used for anything uh, other than the cosmic meatballs, which I never need to make again. So uh, we should be good. That's fantastic. And now we have massive production of neutronium. We've got, uh, I mean, we're set. We're ready to start cranking out infinity ingots uh, basically at will. I think. Let me just, let's just double check the recipe for infinity ingots. But yeah, we need the crystal made. These we can have in huge quantities. We can make the infinity catalysts in huge quantities. And we'll soon be able to make the neutronium ingot. I mean, we've got tons of these as well. So we can start making the, uh, the infinity ingots. And making all these uh, infinity tools and stuff, which is going to be great. Um, we do need to get draconic armor. Does the Draconic armor... It does not. Okay, I wanted to see if this required Chaos Shards, and it doesn't look like the Draconic iron uh, armor requires any Chaos Shards. I think the idea with Draconic Evolution is that you get the Draconic armor before you fight the Chaos Dragon, because otherwise the Chaos Dragon will just, like, wreck your face. Pretty sure. So we can make all this stuff as well. Yeah, we are, we're in a great spot. We're in a fantastic spot as far as resources and stuff goes. I mean, we've basically got access to everything. We still need to make the, um, uh, the transmutation table, uh, from Project E, which involves fighting the Gaia Guardian and then automating these HDPE sheets from Mechanism. Uh, but that should be pretty doable as well. Uh, we'll probably have to tackle that in the next couple episodes. Uh, unfortunately though, guys, I am out of time for this one. So I'm going to have to call this one here. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.